What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Brock Go Fast. Whew, as you can tell, we are in the uh, Camaro, as I like to call it, uh, Poe. Um, on the way to an awesome event for that the Enclave is putting on. It is the official debut of a new Zinger <laughs> hypercar. And that is C-Z-I-N-G-E-R. So it's a real Zinger to say too. So uh, just kidding, dad joke. But we are on the way to uh, the event over at the Enclave. And the Enclave's not open yet, but they are doing events and special events um, right now. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Maybe some cocktails, some uh, hors d'oeuvres, and to really see a hypercar before anyone else gets to see it. Pretty awesome. And now you're gonna get to see it. So before we get there, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below. We're gonna get this popping. I've got about 15 minutes to get 20 miles. Uh, you think we can do it? I mean, we do have 700 horsepower on tap. I don't know. Woo, we're gonna try. <laughs> so uh, let's get there and let's get there quick. I don't wanna be late. All right, put the uh, put the camera down at this weird angle, right? Well, at least you can see me shift. You're welcome. Woo. God, this car just sounds so good. Just taking the back ways to the Enclave, which is pretty cool that I can do this. Um, only done it like once or twice, but it's a pretty cool like curvy road that's really fun. So I'll do that way, but traffic is absolutely horrible. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so we're just making our way over there. Man, I love this car. The, the shifts and the downshifts are just so crispy. So crispy. We are here. We made it. Look at this. Holy smokes, look at that. The track's getting paved. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, a warm introduction. I'm sitting or standing here and looking out and really amazed to see so many faces. And a new city, Tampa's new city to me as Brad said, we're from Los Angeles, California. Um, if you'll allow me, I'll, I'll take up just a few minutes of your time and tell you a little bit about Zinger Vehicles, who we are as a company, what this is. And I'm sure Seems a little bit foreign to talk about the ice software and now I'm going to talk about brand printing, to talk about metals, to talk about automated assembly. Uh, but I'll go ahead and, and do just that and try and explain it to you all in a way uh, that resonates and, and makes sense. So, uh, first off, we've been around for about seven years now, but we've been in cell phone. So, very, very few people on this one have been developed over those seven years. But I say, the most important people in the world actually do understand exactly what we have to And now I'll share a bit of the story with you all. So starting seven years ago, we really had an idea that this was my father Kevin, and I call my father Kevin, and we worked so closely together. Uh, started this business together, and we were really looking at automotive and looking at how we design the And in our first days, it wasn't about making a car yet. It was about changing design and changing the Essentially, we created a system that was really about engineering in a new way, and about materializing those designs in a new way, and assembling those designs into a product in a new way. And most people, you know, you look at all the startups that are doing out of the you look at a lot of OEMs, they essentially set out with a vision for a vehicle, and, and they try to make a better car with existing technology. And we did not do that at all. We said, we're going to make a better technology to the end make a better car. And that was really, you know, point number one. So, on the technology front, uh, we spent six years developing the AI-based software. What I mean by that is, we're designing the chassis of this car. We'll reveal it in a few minutes. In the top end of the day, you'll see these structures. We have a software that's AI-driven. And it's actually designing these parts. So, when I'm designing, say, the front frame of this vehicle, I'm taking the bounding box, the volume that I can consume in engineering, and I'm taking the hard points, so the front suspension is going to be up to that front frame, and I'm taking the low cases, so the forces you're going to see with the cornering, the crash impulse, because this is a fully volume car that needs to go through a full vehicle crash. I'm uploading that spec into a software, that CAD 
design space into a software, and that software is designed to create an optimized network. Car. Look at this. That is a cockpit, huh? That's crazy. Check this out. Bam. These are the controls. Wow. Pedals. This is bad to the bone. What a car, huh? What a freaking car. This is bad to the bone. Might have to get me one of these when I get loaded. <laughs> Just kidding. This is awesome. Man, so what'd you think? I know I didn't get to film a lot. There was a ton of people there. I tried to get as much coverage as I can. <sighs> that was pretty cool. My hair's a mess. I, I just, you know, man, just been driving with the windows down like we should, because that's what race cars are all about and enjoying the sounds. But what a cool event, huh? I mean, we got to see a hyper car, an absolute monster, 975 horsepower out of the gas motor. 150 each wheel in the front electric hybrid that's where the future as is i've been telling everybody that i mean man that was cool all right everybody we made it home uh made it tonight the enclave put on a heck of a cool show i mean i never thought i'd be able to see like a hyper car right off the showroom floor just i mean what a cool thing seeing it before a lot of people have seen it and what an event it was really cool to be part of that and uh i mean it was it was pretty awesome and i can tell you what that car just gave me one of the most fun drives home smiled from ear to ear um i mean what a, what an event what a fun night um thank you to the enclave for doing that i'm so excited to get on track and i'm so excited to meet more people um car people are obviously you know we're one of a kind right we all love the same thing but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the soup, the hypercar. Tell me what you think about it. I think it's awesome. Hopefully we'll get to see that thing on track and maybe, just maybe they'll let me take it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, you know, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below. You know the drill. And I'll see you in the next one. Rock, go fast.